Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add a little bit of harmony into your piece of music in Studio One using MIDI and nothing more than your QWERTY keyboard, or that is your laptop or computer keyboard. So I have a little um, piece of music here already. I've got a drum kit. I've got a bass riff happening. I'll just show you that now. All right, there we go. Wonderful, isn't it? Okay, so um, before we can add more harmony, we've got to think, well, I've got a bass guitar in there. That means there's some notes in there. So any harmony I add has to match what's happening in the bass guitar because that's already done. So the first job really is to look at the bass guitar. Let's have a look. Um, that was just double clicking on the MIDI event there. I can come in here and I can see, right, well, that's a C, um, that's an E, and that's an F, and that's a G. Um, and I can play it. So it's really revolving around that C being the first note that's played in the song. And then we've got the middle note of what would be a C major chord. And then we've got the top note of what would be a C major chord. So really, um, I can be pretty certain that we're in C major here. Um, so any harmony I make needs to revolve around C major. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. So we're in C major. Um, next thing is to choose what harmonic instrument I want to use. S um, I'm going to stick with keyboard for the point of this because I'm going to be playing chords. Um, and a keyboard just makes a simple addition to this piece of music. Um, so in Studio One, I can click on instruments on the right-hand side here. I'm going to be using the Presonus Presence instruments because these are the ones available in the free version of Studio One. Um, I'm going to drill down into artist instruments and then keyboards, and I'm going to pick one of these organs here. Let's go for a rock organ. Here it is. And I pull that in, um, and that automatically creates a new track for my rock organ. And I've got the presence instrument up here. Um, and to play any of the notes, I then need to press caps lock, which brings up my little QWERTY keyboard player. There it is. Okay, and I'm on an octave C3 at the minute. Let's go up to C4. Alright, that'll do. So I said before that the song is revolving around C, so we've got a tonal center of C, which is good because it means um, all the notes in C major are the white notes. It means I don't have to worry about any black notes. So really, I know that any of the white notes will work with my song fine. But let's go for a C chord first. So a C chord starts on C, skip one, next one, skip one, next one, and there's my C major chord there. So, and that's also, the C, the E, and the G is also the notes that were being played in the bass guitar. So let's just double check that that works. Well, yeah, it certainly does. It works. No worries there at all. Um, but let's look at some other options with our chords here. So I've got C, E, and G. I could add C at the top. There it is. Let's add all of those together. Well, that kind of works, yeah. Sometimes what um, often happens on the keyboard is they, they drop out the third all together and you just have the outside notes. And that's got a really consonant, comfortable sort of sound to it. Or they might add some other notes to add a little bit of tension. For example, if I've got this C at the top and then I go a minor second down, the B, and I play those together, there's a little bit of tension in that. And you might think initially, oh, that's not going to sound good. But then tension in songs is good. We need a bit of tension to make it inter interesting. Otherwise, it just remains sickly sweet. So um, let's try that. You know, and I actually quite like that. Let's try and record a little section in here. There we go. I recorded a little bit in. Um, I accidentally played earlier than I was meant to, so I'll just cut that off. Let's have a listen. Okay, cool. All right. Um, so that's one with that seventh note or the B in there. Let's try something else. Um, let's do a really consonant one just with the, um, the C. Get me 
instrument back up, the C, and then the fifth, and then the C again. Really comfortable chord there. Let's have a look. C. Yeah. All right, there we go. So you can see that sounds pretty... Pretty comfortable there, but maybe we want to make it a little bit more interesting than that. Let's try something else. I'll skip this forward. Let's record from there this time. Um, so what do we got? C, C again. Let's. Uh and I'm just toying around with that top note, moving the top note around, just um, to make a little bit of. Make it sound a little bit more interesting, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. All right, let's go. Here we go. Cops lock and record. probably saw that sounded a little bit more interesting in there, um, just mucking around with the top note. I did fall a little bit out of time there at one point, but we can always go in and fix that with our quantizing. So we can double click, uh, let's have a look. Uh, the vertical lines are where the, the beats or the pulses are falling, and you can see that some of my notes are, you know, they are falling a little bit off. You know, that's not entirely bad, it gives a human touch to it. You don't want everything falling spot on or you start sounding a bit robotic. Let's just have a listen. Yep, and you can hear, uh, it might be a bit of the bass guitar as well, perhaps I haven't quite done that. Um, but you get the idea in terms of adding a harmony. Now you can go through and, and try and quantize these notes to make it sound in time, or you can go back and record it again if you're not happy, um, or you can go through and physically just move them around as it suits you. All right, I hope that gives you a good little introduction into adding harmony to your song.